cards away, PayPal now giving shoppers the chance to, quote, check out with crypto. A new feature unveiled today allows U.S. customers to buy items from merchants using cryptocurrencies from their mobile wallets. And it's not just Bitcoin this time. PayPal will allow checkout using Litecoin, Ethereum, and Bitcoin Cash as well without any additional transaction fees. What does this mean? Well, in, its, in her first TV interview since the news broke, we welcome Hester Peirce, the Securities and Exchange Commissioner, also known as Crypto Mob. Commissioner, great to see you. It's great to have you. What's your first reaction overall to PayPal's new checkout with crypto announcement? And, and I guess more importantly, what does it mean for these nascent forms of digital payment? Liz, it's great to be here. I think that the announcement just is is further evidence that people are more comfortable with crypto, that it's it's becoming more mainstream. It's it's less of a of a niche thing, and there's there's much uh, greater interest in it um, among the general population. PayPal's not the only one, of course. I mean, we can put up a bunch of big names. Some of them are sort of fringe financials like Mastercard, Visa, etc., that are now saying, you know what, this is an evolving opportunity. And Tesla, Square, Robinhood, MicroStrategy, Morgan Stanley, Fidelity, they're all dipping their toe or full-blown calf into, into this opportunity here. Um, you know, where do we stand when it comes to the SEC looking at cryptocurrency, regulating it, and so forth? Well, where we stand is we'd be we'd be in a much better place if the SEC were were in that list of entities that you just mentioned. Um, we are we're we're not being as forward thinking as we should be when it comes to regulating crypto. We obviously only have a small piece of the the regulatory puzzle when it comes to crypto, but um, we've been quite slow. It, it, it's it's. Uh, it's it's an opportunity, I would say, for us to do better um, in the future to try to be a bit more um, forward thinking and, and provide some more guidance so that entities within our space feel more comfortable dipping their toes into crypto. I can see why they call you crypto mom. You have an unusual understanding and belief that it is truly something that is the way of the future, which brings me to Coinbase. Coinbase, of course, recently just had the accusations uh, revealed in the New York Times that a bunch of people's accounts were drained, their passwords were changed by hackers, and that Coinbase wasn't exactly initially forthcoming when it came to these problems. You know, I thought the whole point about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies was that there is a ledger. There's a digital ledger you can follow. You can see every step of the way. So why do funds still disappear? And how alarming is the potential for something like that for somebody like you who's trying to support crypto? Well, look, as an initial matter, I think the role of a regulator is to allow for experimentation, to allow people to try new things, to put guardrails around that so that investors um, and markets are protected, but really to allow that experimentation. Now, you know, there have been lots of instances um, that have gotten a lot of attention about crypto disappearing from um, various entities, centralized entities that, that deal in crypto. And I think that's um, why a lot of people who engage in this area say, you know, not your keys, not your crypto. You should, you, you should think about whether you want to hold it yourself. Now, that's obviously not going to be for everyone, but that's, um, you know, th these are things that, that People, I'm not going to speak about any particular institution. I think any institution dealing in crypto is is going to be looking into protections it can put in place to make sure that its customers are protected, and and so that's something that customers will look for when they when they figure out who they want to deal with. Well, to that end, when you're talking about being concerned about how cryptocurrency affects the average individual investor and how much it should be regulated, the SEC alleges that XRP, which of course is issued by Ripple, is not a currency. It's not a digital currency. The SEC says, in essence, it is um, a security and should be much more tightly regulated as such. Now, a judge, a U.S. District Court judge, is ruling that because the SEC threw that out there, XRP holders were suffering catastrophic losses and that the economic damage suffered by XRP holders, uh, estimated, I guess, around $15 billion, allows them to file a suit against the SEC because of this. Where do you stand? And I know this is a dicey question, uh, considering you're at the SEC, but is XRP a digital currency or a security? 
Look, I can't speak about XRP. I do, I do get lots of inquiries about it. I can't speak about that because there is a, an ongoing litigation with the SEC now. Um, and I should say that mm -hmm. I, I speak for myself um, when I speak about these or other issues. And, and my, I've been very upfront about the fact that I think we need to do a better job providing better regulatory clarity around when a, an offering of a, of a crypto token will mm -hmm. be treated as a, as a sale of a security and when it's not treated that way. And, and so that's something that I'm working on, um, trying to come up with creative solutions to, to try to provide some more clarity okay. around a question that a lot of people have had. Uh, you talked about digital uh, offerings. NFTs are becoming such a hot thing. But there is a question as to how they can be sold in and of themselves. For example, we'll show you the Beeple that sold the piece of digital artwork that sold for $69 million at auction. That in and of itself is legal. But you have warned that if somebody then slices it up into pieces, almost like breaking off bits of a chocolate bar, that then makes it a security and that people need to be very cautious because they could be breaking the law. What do you expect will happen as the SEC's involvement uh, starts to become a little more prevalent with NFTs? Well, I think people need to be careful in any of these new technologies they're dealing with to, to see how and whether the, the securities laws interact with them. We saw.